grain markets, soybeans surge continues. That long position holding, uh, those holders are winning big. Uh, right now, demand is better. The crush is on a record pace over the past five months. All those things are positive, as well as there is some indication that China may be fulfilling that phase one trade deal. If that all comes through, I think that that's really going to be uh, supporting the futures to move higher. We always looked at $9 to be the, the target, and it looks like the market is uh, on its way to accomplishing that and possibly even more. Of course, this is led by corn, and we know corn is king. That USDA surprise did spark that futures rally, and with 3 million less acres, uh, weather is going to be more important than ever right now. And of course, with the forecast uh, looking at uh, pretty hot for July, it'll be interesting whether whether it's uh, there's going to be rain or it's going to be really dry. That's going to make a big difference right now. Also, we had record shorts in that corn futures market, and the short covering is really uh, making people fall on top of each other to push this market even higher. So we've accomplished that 350 number, and it looks like that there's a possibility that we can go even much further. So we're going to watch that closely as we head into the long weekend. Wheat was firm today, but futures did hold near that $5 benchmark. It, uh, the USDA report wasn't quite as positive as it was for corn and soybeans, so it was relatively a non-event. But there was some overflow buying right now, and there's some optimism uh, that really pushed the market higher that is basically steadying the market right at the $5 level. That seems to be fair value for the wheat traders for right now. Uh, but there's a lot of things can change, uh, you know, over overall for the rest of the summer. If it really becomes hot and the weather does uh, take a turn, uh, we could see these markets uh, really moving up in a hurry.